Hey guys, Mr. Karen here. Just wanted to point a couple things out on the measurement mix assignment that there's been some confusion on. So I've got one of the pages open here. Um, first thing you'll notice here is the rulers are a little bit different depending on which question you're on. This first one here you'll notice has less marks. If I count in between 0 and 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there's only 8 marks. So that means each of these marks is an eighth. While I go down to this ruler, you'll notice there's a lot more marks, and there's actually 16 of them. So there's been a mark placed in between each of the eighths, which is a 16th. So for these rulers here, you are not going to have any answers in sixteenths. And I've had quite a few people doing that on these. So if I just go through and do a couple of examples for you here, just to make sure we're all kind of on the same page, I know these are going to be in eighths. Now those might reduce to half or fourths also, but the, the biggest denominator I can have here is an eighth. So I come out here, it's between the two and three. So that's going to be a 2, okay? And then each one of these marks is an 8. So there's 6 eighths here, okay? Now you can write that as 6 eighths, or as some of you know, you can reduce that to 3 fourths, okay? Because if I go out here, that's 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, okay? If you have... 6 eighths there, that's fine, but just get in the habit of starting to reduce it. Okay, now the second one here comes out to, looks like this mark here. So again, these are eighths. One eighth from getting to five full inches, so that's going to be four and seven eighths. That's not seven sixteenths. Okay. All right, now when I jump down here to this ruler, Again, we've got marks at the sixteenths here. Again, we can still have answers as eighths or fourths or halves. Now this first line comes to this. Now if you're counting sixteenths, there's actually twelve sixteenths here. Okay, so three and twelve sixteenths. But if I'm going to write that in lowest terms, again, it's one, two, three fourths. If I write that in lowest terms, it's going to be 3 and 3 fourths. Both of those answers are the same, but this one is in lowest terms. Our second line here goes out quite a bit. Looks like it comes to this mark right here. Okay, again, if I look, it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 sixteenths, okay, which is also 5 eighths, okay. So we have 5 and 10 sixteenths. But again, if I divide the numerator and denominator by 2, I'm going to get 5 eighths. So 5 and 5 eighths would be the answer in lowest terms. So as you're doing these uh, ruler assignments, just be careful and make sure that you have you know, the right ruler in mind here. Again, these here are in eighths. These are in sixteenths. Okay? Good luck.